Today I'm going to share with you the pros and the cons of living on Staten Island that you did not know and we are starting right now. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Esfir Popolevsky. I'm a broker with Scream Home Sales in New York and I'm also a broker in New Jersey. And today I will let you in on five pros and five cons on living on Staten Island. So I'm going to let you in on the cons first and then I will share why you actually should live on Staten Island even though the five cons are pretty bad. The first one on my list, which is the most annoying one, is traffic. Traffic is insane on Staten Island. Anytime you drive around, except probably in the middle of the night, you will encounter some sort of traffic. Going on the highway is a nightmare. We have lots of trucks and cars. Everybody's still trying to get through. And if you work in the city, this is probably like the longest commute you will ever experience out of the entire tri-state area and all the other boroughs. Now, if you live on the South Shore, you're thinking to move to the South Shore, it's a nightmare to travel to the city. Just to give you like a real time idea, a lot of people who commute to work from Staten Island are on the road for like two and a half hours each way. Number two on my list is the nightlife. Don't expect to have too much nightlife going on in Staten Island, okay? Yes, we do have bars, we do have some restaurants, a few of the restaurants that offer some DJ dancing on a Saturday night, but really, that's pretty much it. So if you are a night owl and you love to party, Staten Island's probably not the best place for you to live in, with the exception that you live very close to the Verrazano Bridge or the Staten Island Ferry, which allows you the opportunity to quickly get to the city and come back. Number three on my list, which is kind of annoying too a little bit, it's the variety of the food that we have on Staten Island especially takeout. Staten Island has majority of Italian food, duh, or pizzerias really. So your choices are very limited when you want to order takeout to be delivered to your house. I go through this all the time. You have the option of pizzeria food, Chinese food, Japanese food, which kind of limits you to what you can get. For example, I love Mediterranean food, and if I want Mediterranean food, the only option I have is making the reservation and traveling all the way to a Mediterranean restaurant. But the problem is, all of these Mediterranean restaurants are located near the Verzano Bridge. They don't deliver to the South Shore at all. Bummer. Don't get me wrong, like I love Italian food and Chinese food and Japanese food, but, but I do crave Mediterranean many times, which I can't really get. Number four on my list is the wildlife and lots of deer we have here. So when you drive around, you have to be really careful. You never know if a deer or a turkey or a big bird or a raccoon or a possum or a stray cat even going to jump at you and I know you don't want to kill anyone. So be very, very careful when you're driving on Staten Island, especially when it's dark out. And number five on my list is you really need to have a car living on Staten Island. Most places you can't walk to, you have to drive everywhere. So like if you are used to living in the city, hopping on the train or the bus or walk to the corner store or the nearest shopping plaza, like living in the city, you are going to have a difficult time without a car on Staten Island. So that would be something to take into consideration before moving to Staten Island. 
And now let's get to the good stuff. The five pros that you absolutely will love living on Staten Island because there's no other place like Staten Island. Number one is parks. Did you know that Staten Island has 170 parks? Which is like a third of Staten Island. Staten Island is the greenest borough out of them all. We have a total, get this, 12,300 acres of protected parkland and Staten Island is only like 21 miles long. Pretty much every neighborhood or near every neighborhood you would find a park. So that's absolutely, absolutely awesome. Number two, real estate is a lot more affordable in Staten Island compared to like all the other boroughs. Our houses are not cheap, but in comparison to other boroughs, our homes are a lot more affordable, a lot more affordable. And they offer more space, more land, more yard than you will find in other boroughs, for example. And that's why many people from Brooklyn and Queens move to Staten Island every day. After realizing that you get a lot more for your buck right here on Staten Island, everybody wants to move here. Number three on my list is parking. Let me tell you something. Parking is a breeze on Staten Island. And if you own a car, you will absolutely love this. Majority of the neighborhoods on Staten Island do not have alternate side parking at all believe this and do not have meter parking either you can park your car pretty much anywhere and everywhere without worrying about alternate side parking or feeding the meters we do have meter parking in really condensed commercial areas but overall we do not the next one on my list is golf courses did you know that Staten Island has four golf courses and three of which are municipal golf courses? I mean, how much can you fit in in 21 miles? And last but not least, I think your kids would love living on Staten Island because children have opportunities to be outside a little bit more. Most communities are built tucked away from the street or like a main road and offer speed bumps. You might hate the speed bumps, but the kids are gonna love it, which allow children to play on the private streets and that makes it a great place to raise a family on Staten Island. This was my take on why you don't want to live on Staten Island and why you will absolutely love living on Staten Island. Choose with caution now you know, ha ha ha. <laughs> on this channel, I talk about living on Staten Island. I talk about real estate and Staten Island neighborhoods. So consider subscribing, click on the notification bell, like this video. If there's a topic or a question that you wanna know about, let me know in the comments below this video, okay? Thank you for watching. See you back here on Monday.